John McBain's friend? Oh, yeah, Taya Delgado. And you're Sam... Yeah. Sam, Sam Morgan. <laughs> you had your baby. I sure did. And from the look of things, so did you. <laughs> We've never... What's your baby doing? He didn't make it. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I, um... Ah, oh, can't even imagine. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, life is unfair. Because it is. This little guy uh, lost his father before he ever, ever got a chance to meet him. It's a boy. I am, my mind was a boy. Was I weird? I can't. Uh, I can't really understand what happened because uh, I feel like it's one minute I, I, I have him in my arms and the next minute he's gone. Does Sam still believe her son? Oh, <laughs> he's doing well. Oh, he's. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling he likes to be the center of attention. He could be a little fussy sometimes, like right now. Well, he's a drama king, just like his dad. Oh, it's okay, little guy. And apparently he has his uncle's sense of timing. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Oh, my God. Maybe I could try. I'm, I'm so sorry. You barely even know me. No, listen, having had children already, <laughs> to reject any kind of help, I'd be a fool. Sam? Should you be out of bed? I'm afraid we kept my daughter waiting. Congratulations, Miss Delgado. Thank you. Bye, Sam. You need to get some rest. Yeah, why? Mom, what else can happen? I'm so sorry, Sam. Why did my son die? We were able to determine the cause of death. Only, there's something that doesn't add up. What happened to my baby? All right, enough sightseeing. Let's get you out of here. Oh, I'm waiting for the nurse. Hey, she, I, she, 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 nurse, gave me a, a pamphlet. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if this baby has a genetic condition, I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it. Sam, if you recall, given the family history, there was something we were worried about. Yeah, beta thalassemia, I remember. Beta thalassemia, I can't even pronounce it. Do you, do you know what it is? It's all Greek to me. You ready to go? Uh, you know, if Victor had it, then you would have had to have it too, because you are identical twins. Maybe it's recessive. Maybe it just skipped a generation. Well, you know, I sure as heck didn't give it to him, so it had to have come from his father's side of the family. Beta thalassemia is sometimes called Mediterranean anemia. It's more common in people of Greek and Italian ancestry. Like with the Cassavetes. I, I don't think it's something you need to worry about. The doctor said it's nothing to worry about. OK, so is that why my son died? Because it inherited some sort of a disease from my side of the family? No. In fact, there was no sign of it. Yeah, my condition is manageable, but I have to keep on top of it. And I'm sure you will, Mama Bear. So if beta thalassemia wasn't a factor, what killed my son? You want to hear the good news? It's a lot less serious than the condition I might have passed on to him. Respiratory failure. He couldn't breathe? Hemophilia is a potentially life-threatening disease passed on from mother to son. My OBGYN in Lambview said I'm a carrier. There was an additional complication, one that didn't show up in any of the screens. Your son had hemophilia. Relax, we dodged a bullet. The worst that can happen to this little guy is a little anemia from the beta thalassemia. That, I can manage. Okay, I, I don't understand. Is that why my son couldn't breathe? Because of hemophilia? No, the child died of respiratory failure. But if he had survived, he had a potentially serious blood disorder. Is, is there a history of hemophilia in the family? Not that I know of. Why didn't we catch this sooner? 
It's a good question. I went back through all the tests, and there were no markers. And usually the mother is a carrier. I got lucky for once, Todd. I'm happy we for you. We won the genetic lottery. Terrific. Can we go? What is the rush? So then it's still possible. What is? That there was a mistake. I know why you're trying to rush us out of here. I know what you've done, Todd. What do you mean? What kind of mistake? I was right. That wasn't my baby. My son is still alive. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. You know, when you're dealing with infants in utero, it's tricky. You take histories, you check samples, but until the baby arrives and can be tested safely, it's always possible we've missed something. Okay, so it's possible my child had hemophilia and we just didn't know it? I'm afraid that's what happened. But it's not what killed him. No. He just stopped breathing. Would have delivered here, or at least brought my son in right away, would it have made a difference? There's really no way that she could know that. I am a patient. She is my doctor. I deserve an answer. Of course you do, Sam. But Alexis is right. It's very difficult to second guess. The baby experienced acute respiratory distress. If he had been admitted, we would have put him on a ventilator and done everything we could to save him. But there are no guarantees. No, but he would have had a chance. Yes. I need to be alone. Of course. If you have any more questions, you have me paged, OK? There really is no way that they could know. Please, don't. Go ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. I just, I want to see how you were doing. Oh, Lieutenant, this probably isn't the best Actually, time. Actually, Mom, it's OK for you to leave. I, I mean, I know you have a client, and I would like to talk to John. 